Hello friends, welcome to Fairs Club Learn to Lead. Good morning to all the students. Today we will discuss very important current affairs of 18th of May 2022. You can see two best images of the day, but today we will discuss very important and the most important current affairs. So watch this video till last. But I am requesting you all the students that you have to download our application careers cloud from the description box link. After that, log in with the email ID, then click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low. But how we are covering this current fair? We are providing you daily section. In the daily, you will see three things. One is detail. Second is question and answer format. And third is the quiz section, which you can attempt on our application on daily basis. Next is the weekly section. Again, you will receive three things. One is detail. Second is question and answer format. And third is the quiz section, which you can attempt on our application on weekly basis. Most important section is the monthly and we are providing four type of PDFs. One is detail. Second is question and answer format. Third is best 100 current fair that is also provided in the form of question and answer. And fourth one is pocket PDF. It means two liners and the three liners current fair will be provided to you so that you can revise these current fairs in quick format before your exam. But to enhance your performance further, we are providing 20 most important topic wise PDF. It means if you want to cover one particular topic, then you can use this topic wise PDF. If you are a banking student, we are providing three things. One is detail, second is question and answer format and third is the quiz section. But all these three things are only related to banking and economy. And you can attempt this quiz only on our application on monthly basis. If you want to cover all the past current fair of 2021 just from single PDF, then you can use this exam PDF. We are providing detailed budget and economic survey. Expected question and answer will be provided to you so that you can recall that examiner can make these type of questions from budget and economic survey. If you are appearing for your respective state exam, then we are also providing you state current fair and we are covering every state and union territory. So all these things comes under only one subscription. You have to just download our application careers cloud from the description box link. After that, log in with the email ID, then click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low. But if you are a new student, you are just starting your preparation, then I am advising you to subscribe for two years. And we are providing 10% extra discount on both subscriptions if you use this code ASH10. And if you have any query, you can email us or you can call us on this number or email ID. So let's start 18th of May 2022 current fairs. But first of all, you have to like this video. You have to share this video as maximum as possible. And you have to subscribe this channel if you're new on this platform and join a telegram group from the description box link so that you can receive the notification on time. Here is the first question in the most important section. Which Tiger Reserve notified as 52nd Tiger Reserve of India? So this is the most important question because we are talking about 52nd and the latest Tiger Reserve of India and it is notified by the government of India. Answer of this question is Ramgad Vishdari Tiger Reserve. And always remember this Tiger Reserve is situated in which state? This is Rajasthan. So Ramgad Vishdari Century covering Bundi area. Bundi area of Rajasthan, Bilwada area of Rajasthan and Kota district of Rajasthan was notified as India's 52nd Tiger Reserve of India. And the Ramgad Vishtari Tiger Reserve is Rajasthan fourth Tiger Reserve because earlier there are three Tiger Reserves in Rajasthan. One is Ranthambor Tiger Reserve, Ranthambor. Second is Sariska Tiger Reserve and third one is Mukundara Tiger Reserve, Mukundra Tiger Reserve. So the proposed Tiger Reserve connects the two major Tiger corridors of Ranthambore and Mukundra Reserve of Rajasthan. And the in principle approval was given by the National Tiger Conservation Authority under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change on July 5, 2021. And Ramgad Vishdari is also home to other wildlife animals like Indian wolf, leopard, chinkara, antelope, foxes among other animals and according to the status of tigers in India report released in the year of 2019 there are 2967 tigers in 20 states across the country with this India accounts for 70% of the world tiger population so you have to just remember Ramgad Vishtari tiger reserve is situated in Rajasthan this is Rajasthan fourth tiger reserve and 52nd tiger reserve of India now we are moving to next question. 
which country hosted 2021 summer deflympics games so again the most important keyword here is 2021 summer deflympics game and answer of this question is brazil so a is the answer so this is the 24th edition you have to remember this is the 24th edition of 2021 summer deflympics and it was held in caxias so you can remember exact place caxias is in brazil and it is officially called the 14th summer def olympics games so you can see here 2021 caxias brazil 24th def olympics game which was held from 1st to 15th of may 2022 so 24th edition first of all you have to remember this is 24th edition of summer def olympics and it is also known as caxias 2021 caxias is a place in brazil and the motto of the event is sports comes from the our hearts and the international committee of the sports of def which is also known as icsd is the main governing body responsible for the organization of def olympics and the other world def championship and this is the first time that games are being held in the latin american country and not during the summer of the host city because it is autumn in the month of may in the southern or the south of brazil so you have to remember this is hosted by caxias exact place is caxias but the country is brazil and this is the third time for the games to be held in the southern hemisphere only after 1989 games held in christchurch in new zealand and in 2005 games in melbourne australia so this is the third time that the games to be held in southern hemisphere and the mascot of the def olympics is a ring tailed kauti nino meaning priceless worthy of appreciation cheerful happy very lucky auspicious but you have to remember this is the mascot this is nino so this is mascot you can also remember this picture and india won on total 17 medals at the def olympics 2021 so a total number of 226 events across 18 sports were held with a participation of almost 2300 athletes representing 71 nations and india has participated in the def olympics with the largest and the youngest contingent of 65 athletes competing in 11 sports discipline so remember india won total 17 medals and out of 17 medals you can also remember that eight are gold one is silver and eight are bronze but uh, the first country it means the first rank goes to ukraine because ukraine won total 138 medals out of 138 62 are gold and india won eight gold medals you don't have to remember the name like dhanush shrikant is there uh, abhinav deshwal is there badminton team also won the gold medal even abhinav sharma won the bronze medal and there are so many players but you don't have to remember the name of any player and you can also remember about def olympics def olympics is a competition for def athletes who compete at an elite international level and unlike the athletes in the other international olympic committee sanctioned events like olympics paralympics and the special olympics the def olympics cannot be guided by sounds like starters gun bull horn commands referee whistles these are not be included under this tournament and the summer def olympics take place every 4 years and it is the oldest multi sport event after the olympic games so you have to remember this is def olympics and this is hosted by brazil in 2021 because uh, due to covid 19 it was postponed to 2022 otherwise originally it was held in 2021 that's why it is known as 2021 caxias 2021 because caxias is a place in brazil and india won total 17 medals and out of 17 medals total eight are gold one is silver and eight are bronze so it means you can remember 8 1 8 moving to next question next question is in the very important question section but first of all you have to like this video you have to share this video as maximum as possible and please subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and join our telegram group from the description box link so that you can receive the notification on time so here is the first question in the very important section which country has emerged as the largest remittance receiving country globally in 2021 and it is according to a report of world bank so remember the keyword here largest remittance receiving country globally according to world bank and this is india so answer of this question is c second rank goes to mexico third goes to china and fourth goes to philippines even fifth 
country is Egypt. But you don't have to remember all the countries. Just remember first and second. India is on the first and second rank goes to Mexico. So India remains on the world top remittance recipient according to the World Bank. And the World Bank has released a report titled as Migration and Development Brief 36 May 2022, a war in a pandemic. And the full name is Implication of the Ukraine Crisis and COVID-19 on Global Governance of Migration and Remittance Flow. But you don't have to remember the full name. Just remember the name of the report is a war in a pandemic. And in accordance to this, India has emerged as the largest remittance receiving country globally in 2021, worth rupees 89.4 billion dollar as compared to 2020 because in 2020 total remittance was 82.73 billion through India retained its position as top recipient of the remittance globally however in comparison to its economy remittance accounted for only 3% of the GDP in 2021 and for 2022 India's remittance are expected to grow at 5% and for 2023 to India remittances are projected to grow at 5%. So it is a report of World Bank. So just remember about World Bank president is David Malpass. David Malpass and World Bank was established in the year of 1944. Total member countries are 189 and its headquarters is in Washington, D.C. Moving to next question. Which organization sanctioned USD 350 million aid for the Shrest Gujarat project? So remember the keyword here, Shrest Gujarat project and this will be funded by World Bank. So answer of this question is C. So World Bank has sanctioned 350 million dollar aid for the health department's project which is known as Shrest Gujarat. And what is the meaning of Shrest? Shrest stands for System Reform Endeavor for Transformed Health Achievement in Gujarat and it is also known as Shrest G or Shrest Gujarat. And this project will encompass the transformation of key health delivery system in Gujarat. And this Shrest G project will be worth 500 million USD with the World Bank contribution USD 350 million. It means total cost of this project is 500 million dollar but 350 million dollar will be funded by World Bank. And the program development objective is to improve services delivery in Gujarat by improving primary health care quality, equity, comprehensiveness, improving service delivery models for the adolescent girls and increasing disease surveillance system capacity. And Gujarat Chief Minister Bupender Patel ji approved this Shrest Gujarat project after which the proposal was forwarded to the Union Finance Ministry. And even Gujarat Health Sector has a clear mission to extend life expectancy through the various health and medical care measures contributing to overall improvement in the Gujarat Human Development Index to a level equivalent to the developed countries. So that's why this Shrest Gujarat project was approved by the Chief Minister of Gujarat Bupender Patel ji and it will be funded by World Bank out of 500 million dollar 350 million dollar will be funded by World Bank. And uh, who is the uh, governor of Gujarat? Governor of Gujarat is Acharya Devraj ji. Move into next question. Which state has launched Lok Milni or public interaction program for on the sport redressal of the people's grievance? So you have to just remember the keyword. This is Lok Milni or the public interaction program. And answer of this question is Punjab government. So B is the answer. So Punjab Chief Minister, Aam Admi Party Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan has launched his government flagship program which is known as Lok Milni or public interaction program for on the sport redressal of the people grievance. So it will facilitate the people for resolving their long pending administrative issues and it would ease the people to solve their grievances by ensuring a single window platform for redressal of people's complaints and the matters flagged by the people are immediately resolved on the spot with the objective to immediately resolve in a time bound and result oriented manner and earlier the program was named as Janta Darbar. Janta Darbar and now it is renamed or it is again launched with the name of Lok Milne. So remember the Chief Minister is Bhagwant Man. He is recently elected and he is a candidate of Aam Admi Party and Governor is Banwarilal Prohit. Banwarilal Prohit. Moving to next question. 
विच कंपनी लॉन्च इंडिया फर्स्ट डेंटल हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस प्लान सो अगेन दिस क्वेश्चन इज स्टेटिक यू हैव टू जस्ट रिमेंबर द क्वेश्चन एज सेम एस इन स्लाइड दिस इज इंडिया फर्स्ट डेंटल हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस प्लान एंड दिस इज लॉन्च बाय पी एन बी मेट लाइफ इंडिया इंश्योरेंस सो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज सी सो पी एन बी मेट लाइफ इंडिया इंश्योरेंस कंपनी लिमिटेड विच इज ए प्राइवेट इंश्योर कंपनी हैज लॉन्च ए डेंटल हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस प्लान एंड दिस इज इंडिया फर्स्ट डेंटल हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस प्लान so this is india's first insurance plan to cover fixed benefit outpatient expenses as well as provide financial assistance with cost associated with the general dental health and pnb metlife has partnered with more than 340 dental clinics across india including clove dental sapka dentist two of the india's largest dental clinic chains with locations in important cities where policy holders may take advantage of their benefits in full but you can also remember one company exa france exa france to launch india's first mental health insurance in indian group policy this is again important this is india's first mental health insurance so exa france india division with its indian insurance partner is set to launch india's first ever mental health insurance cover in its group policies and the mental health insurance would cover up to rupees 1 lakh for hospitalization and rupees 25000 for the virtual consultations with therapists psychiatrist and life coaches among others and the cover would also provide free mental health assessment test as recommended by the world health organization so just remember two things exa company will launch india's first mental health insurance and pnb met life india insurance will launch india's first dental health insurance plan these two things are very very important move into next question who is selected as the chairman and managing director of rural electrification corporation or you can say rec so very static question again very important chairman and managing director of rural electrification corporation and answer of this question is ravinder singh dillon or ravinder singh dillon so government of india has given an additional charge to ravinder singh dillon who is currently the chairman of power finance corporation remember chairman and managing director of finance corporation this is power finance corporation now becomes the chairman and managing director of rural electrification corporation but remember this is an additional charge which is given to ravinder singh dillo because he is currently the chairman of power finance corporation so you can see here pfc chairman ravinder singh dillon takes additional charge of rec as a chairman and managing director and the development follows the elevation of skg rahate you can remember the name skg rahate he is an is officer and now he is elevated to the post of secretary under the ministry of finance so that's why this position was vacant and as the serving chairman and managing director ravinder singh dillon under the pfc or the power finance corporation he spearheaded the entire operation of the company and also played a critical role in implementation of the key power sector initiative of the center government and under his leadership power finance corporation has increased its focus to renewable energy business and refinancing of the commissioned assets moving to next question who has named as the new prime minister of france so again static question you have to just remember new prime minister of france is elizabeth bond so answer of this question is d so french president emmanuel macron has named elizabeth bond as the country's new prime minister and uh, bond is 61 years old and she is also a former minister of transport ecology and labor so elizabeth bond is the second woman to hold the position after edith cresson who was the prime minister of france from 1991 to 1992 and bond succeed jean castex who had led the french cabinet since july 2020 so just remember the name name is elizabeth bond and she is elected as the new prime minister of france and she is elected by french president emmanuel macron move into next question the highest amount in fraud cases was reported by which bank according to rbi data so recently rbi released a data of the fraud cases of the financial year 2022 and according to rbi punjab national bank remember answer of this question is a the highest amount in fraud cases was reported by the punjab national bank and it is worth rupees 9528 crore involving 431 fraud cases so you can see here frauds in public sector banks dipped by 51% to rupees 40 
1295 crore cases not falling fast enough and it is according to reserve bank of india so in accordance with the reserve bank of india data on the frauds reported by the 12 public sector banks in all categories during the financial year 22 there is over 51% dip in the amount involved in the frauds that is 40295 crore during financial year 22 as compared to 81921 crore in financial year 21 so this is 51% dip in the frauds so you can see here the pace of the fraud cases was declined to 7940 in financial year 22 as compared to 9933 incident reported in the financial year 21 total number of cases also declined and the amount also reduced but you can remember punjab national bank punjab national bank uh, recorded the highest amount of the fraud cases like 9528 crore rupees and total cases are 431 and uh, among the incidents of a large number of small value frauds state bank of india reported maximum number of frauds worth rupees 6932 and total cases are maximum like 4192 cases and among the transactions of high value frauds canara bank reported frauds worth rupees 3230 crore but the total cases are just 90 so in 90 cases the fraud value is very much high so that's why the transaction of high value frauds recorded by canara bank so you have to remember two things uh, one is punjab national bank second is uh, state bank of india because total number of cases uh, in frauds registered by state bank of india but maximum amount registered by punjab national bank and canara bank is again very important because in just 90 cases total fraud value is 3230 so you have to remember these things so now we are moving to the next question India became the dash largest vehicle market in the world again one liner question and remember according to the report released by OICA it stands for organization international the automobile India has surpassed Germany to become fourth largest vehicle market in the world so answer of this question is C so you can see here India overtakes Germany to become fourth largest vehicle market and despite the covid-19 pandemic india sold almost 37 lakh vehicles in 2021 as compared to 29 lakh vehicles in germany that's why india india surpassed germany to become the fourth largest vehicle market in the world and you can also remember this is among us the 26% of growth and only country to register double digit growth among the top 5 countries and this is india and india is expected to become the third largest vehicle market by the year of 2025 however it require india to surpass japan who sold almost 44 lakh units in 2021 and the top post position is secured by china china second position secured by united states of america third is by japan india is on the fourth position and germany is on the fifth so india can overtake japan till the year of 2025 so move into next question next question is from picture prime minister narendra modi official visit to lumbini nepal on 16th of may 2022 so on the invitations of nepal's prime minister sher bahadur dyuba ji indian prime minister narendra modi made an official visit to lumbini in nepal on 16th of may 2022 and it is coinciding with the auspicious event of buddh purnima buddh purnima which was celebrated on 16th of may 2022 so the two sides agreed in principle to establish sister city relations between lumbini in nepal and kushinagar in uttar pradesh and uh, these are among the holiest places of buddhism and represent the two countries common buddhist heritage and you can remember this was narendra modi's fifth visit to nepal and first visit to lumbini and prime minister narendra modi visit to lumbini gave new impetus to the two countries comprehensive partnership and advanced cooperation in the key areas such as education culture energy people to people exchange and it also highlights india and nepal's deep and rich civilization connection as well as the contribution of the people on both sides to nurturing and strengthening it 
and you can remember very important thing that uh, both the countries will improve the relations in the public sphere like people to people exchange education culture and energy so it will enhance the bilateral relationship between india and nepal so you can just remember there are so many mojus which were signed but uh, not for exam point of view you have to remember just remember narendra modi visited lumbini on the auspicious movement that is buddh purnima or vesak day it is also known as vesak day we just today covered this question move into next question this is ministry of housing and urban affairs and very important event this is known as plum x india plum x india so this show is for plumbing water and sanitation related products and services so it is the largest international stand alone exhibition of plumbing water sanitation product and services and it is inaugurated by union minister of housing and urban affairs hardeep singh puri ji so you can see here shri hardeep singh puri ji launched the bharat tap initiative at the plumbex india show so this bharat tap is to provide low flow sanitary wear at scale and thereby reduce water consumption at source considerably so it is estimated to save approximately 40% of water and this will in turn result in the water saving and energy saving due to less water and energy will be required for pumping for transporting and for purification and this initiative will also be accepted quickly in the country and will lead to a renewed focus on the water conservation efforts and you can also remember nirmal jal prayas initiative also launched and according to this initiative it will save 500 crore of liters of water per year so just remember bharat bharat tap initiative and this is launched by hardeep singh puri ji and this is launched under this event which is known as plum x india so this is show for plumbing water and sanitation related products and services and it is a project of ministry of housing and urban affairs move into next question next question is in the important question section but first of all you have to like this video you have to share this video as maximum as possible and you have to subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and join a telegram group from the description box link so that you can receive the notification on time here is the question world hypertension day observed on 17th of may 2022 so it is to create awareness and promote hypertension prevention detection and control and hypertension also known as high as well as raised blood pressure and it is a condition in which the blood vessels have persistently raised pressure and the theme of the world hypertension day 2022 is measure your blood pressure accurately control it and live longer so just remember the theme i am repeating again measure your blood pressure accurately control it and live longer moving to our one liner important point here is the first fraud in the public sector banks dip over 51% to rupees 40000 crore it is according to rbi data we already covered this question securities and exchange board of india notifies rules to strengthen regulatory framework for cas cas stands for collective investment scheme so securities and exchange board of india has amended collective investment scheme regulations of 1999 which have not been reviewed since their first notification in 1999 so under this there is enhancement in the net worth criteria and track record requirements for the entities managing such schemes so next is united arab emirate based e and company which is also known as ati selet and buys 9.8% stake in vodafone worth rupees 4.4 billion usd so this ati selet is also known as emirates telecommunication group company which is a united arab emirates based telecom firm has acquired 9.8% stake in the vodafone group for 4.4 billion dollar just read this line next world telecommunication and information society day observed on 17th of may so just remember this day is observed to create awareness of the possibilities of the use of internet and the other information and communication technologies in the societies and economies and remember 17th of may also marks the anniversary of the signing of the first international telegraph convention and the creation of the international telecommunication union which is known as itu and what is the theme of this day theme is digital technologies for older persons and healthy aging next is world hypertension day we already covered this question and the last day is international day against homophobia transphobia and biophobia 2022 observed on 17th of may so remember this is very important day because it is to commemorate the decision of the world health organization 
to declassify homosexuality as a mental disorder and it is in 1990 and the day also aims to highlight the violence and discrimination experienced by lesbian gay bisexual transgender intersex people and the all other people with diverse sexual orientations gender identities or expressions and the sex characteristics but remember the theme of this day is our bodies our lives our rights our bodies our lives our rights move into the question of the day what was the question of 16th of may 2022 question was the term smart money refers to i think all the students know this answer the term smart money broadly refers to credit card so answer of this question is c because credit card allow us to borrow money from the credit provider to pay for something without using your cash or saving in a bank account so that's why smart money refers to credit cards so moving to the question of the day question of the day is the excess of total expenditure over total receipt is known as so you have to tell me answer only in the comment box i am waiting your answer but please like this video share this video as maximum as possible and please subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and join a telegram group and press this bell button so that you can receive the notification on time but it is a fair cloud promise that it will boost your confidence in the general awareness section definitely don't take life so much serious life is fun always be happy like this smiley thank you guys take care and Bye-bye.